Hey there, Nation. Welcome to the show where we help you to play miniatures wargaming on a budget. It is I, Commander Cheapski, and we are back with another edition of Spoils of War. Those are a series of videos that are dedicated to beer, cigar, as well as whiskey reviews. And today, we're reviewing a 291 single barrel Colorado Rye Whiskey. So uh, this one's been kind of like a favorite of mine. I've been waiting to do a review on this particular brand of whiskey for a while now. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about a little bit about the company, a little bit about the actual whiskey, some of the things that we're looking for, what it's made from, uh, look at the label and stuff like that. Then we'll give this a pour and uh, try out the whiskey and see how it tastes. And as always, these videos, the review videos for Spoils of War, are dedicated to our brother in arms who are across the sea right now in Iraq. So, uh, Big Puka, if you're watching this video, buddy, this one is dedicated to you. So, that being said, let's go ahead and talk about 291. Now, 291 is a Colorado rye, rye whiskey. Uh, it's a single barrel whiskey. It's made by a small distillery in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, the name of the distillery is the 291 Distillery. They make a whole slew of products, um, different types of whiskeys. Uh, they have single barrel, barrel proofed uh, types of whiskeys. They have bottled and bonded whiskeys. Uh, they're known for the high rye as well as the bad guy uh, line of series as well. But the reason why 291 is also very popular is because of this particular flagship product, which is their single barrel uh, Colorado Wire Whiskey. It has actually won several, actually not several, it's won actually numerous awards for the last two years in 2017 and 2018. As you can see on the Bible there, it says World's Whiskey Awards Best Category Winner for Rye. Um, it's won several dozen awards throughout 2018, 2019 San Francisco Awards. Um, they have the International uh, Whiskey Awards up in Denver. I believe they also placed in the World Whiskey Cups, I believe, as well as for different competitions. So it's a very high rated whiskey. As a side effect of it, of course, it's also very hard to come by now because it's won so many awards because it's absolutely delicious. So let's go ahead and talk about the label real quick. As you see here, it's a nice 750 milliliter bottle. See, it's got a good little uh, label on it. It's silver. It says 291 single barrel. Colorado Warai Whiskey, hand distilled and bottled by Distillery 291, Colorado Springs, Colorado, Aspen Stay Finished, distilled from right malt bright ash, 5.8% alcohol per volume, 107%, 107 point, oh, sorry, 101.7 proof. And you go in the back here, it says um, 291 Distillery, aged less than two years, an American oak barrel, and of course you get to the website. What makes this product kind of interesting is that it is a high rye whiskey. I believe it uses 61% um, rye and 39% corn in the mash that is used to distill this product. So it is a American Colorado whiskey. It's done here in Colorado. It's uh, cut with Colorado water in order to barrel proof it. So it does have that feature with it. Same thing with the fact that it's also aged of barrels. But what also makes this kind of interesting as well is if you actually go to the distillery, they actually show you this. They actually take aspen staves. Aspens, in case you're not aware, uh, but those are a particular kind of tree that grows throughout the Rocky Mountains region. So anywhere from all the way up to North Canada, Colorado, all the way down, you know, into uh, Arizona and places like that, where anywhere the Rocky Mountains go is where you basically find aspen trees. Well, the aspens have like this nice white wood is what it's made out of. The bark is very like, kind of like a shimmery kind of white color. And they actually put staves of that inside the barrels in order to uh, age it and also give it its distinct flavor as well. So it's kind of like an interesting product on that. So with that being said, ladies and we're gonna give this quick pour into that uh, tumble over there and we'll uh, carry on with the rest of the review. And we're back. So we just opened up this bottle, this brand new bottle. We actually give ourselves a little pour here. We give ourselves about an ounce uh, pour. We're gonna try, try to take it a little bit easier on this one because uh, like I said before, because 291 has won on numerous awards, it has become extremely popular. And because it's become popular, it's become very hard to come by. So it's almost as hard to find as um, What's it called? As um, a Latin single barrel. It's another notoriously hard to get uh, bourbon. It's a single barrel bourbon. And uh, that one's also very hard to find too. And that's because of those John Wick movies. Um, you see Connor Reeves drinking that stuff in that movie. And so hence the product is kind of like blown up. But as you see here, this is what it looks like in the glass. It's a beautiful, rich amber color, almost a very orange uh, kind of uh, consistency. Um, very amber, just a beautiful looking color there. It's very, very clear and translucent. Let's go ahead and see what kind of aromas we get from the bouquet on this. So, mm. very, very sweet aroma. Uh, you can get little bits of honey in the back there. Same thing, a little bit of honey. Uh, same thing, a little bit of cinnamon as well. 
It's definitely got that sweet corn rye mash uh, aroma that high rye whiskeys have, which is a feature of, of high rye whiskeys I really enjoy actually. So it's very, very much a nice aroma. Let's go ahead and give a, go ahead and take another hit of the uh, aroma here. Mm. Just a very pleasant, uh, sweet aroma. So uh, with the uh, aromatic notes over with, only one thing left to do, and that's to uh, try it out. So from uh, Mars Studios to your guys' family, so cheers. Let's go take a sip. worth every single worth this company gets. Uh, right off the bat, the first thing you get, of course, is that wonderful kind of tangy flavor that you get um, from a rye whiskey. In my opinion, rye whiskeys have a very, like a semi-sweet, kind of spicy flavor for me. So because of that, I'm a huge fan of rye whiskeys, and that's exactly what you get on these notes on that. You get a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of a, kind of like a honey aftertaste as well. There's a very, yeah, very faint, Honey flavor, a little bit of spiciness with the cinnamon. Very, very good. Mouthfeel is, is uh, excellent on this product. Um, doesn't feel like it's like burning your mouth or anything like that. Doesn't feel like you're drinking acid or anything like that because it's kind of like a pleasant. The burn is kind of pleasant. You do feel a little bit of it, but it's not overpowering. Mm. And the aroma afterwards, the aftertaste, just a very nice, uh, sweet kind of after flavor going with it. Just very, very delicious. So uh, let's go ahead and take another sip of this and see what kind of other flavors we get from it. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> like I said, very, very sweet on the upfront uh, with that little bit of spices in the back. Mm. Just an absolute, you know, delicious kind of flavor going on here. Like I said, a lot of spices going on. Cinnamon, kind of like an all spiciness to it. Kind of like if, um, it's the same kind of aroma that you would get from, I'm gonna try to think of it, like something kind of like, like nutmeg almost. There we go. Almost kind of like a nutmeg, all spice, cinnamon uh, kind of flavoring. And a little bit of the hint of that aroma is what kind of flavors I'm getting um, from 291. All right. So pretty quick little video here when it comes to our whiskey reviews. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, as always, Please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. You guys' input is valuable to us as always. Also check us out on Facebook, Google+, Plus, Instagram, as well as blogger.com for all the latest and greatest about our hobby news. That's good to do for this one, you guys. I'm going to spend the rest of the uh, evening just kind of enjoying the, less, the little bit that's in my glass. You guys have to take it easy. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, you guys.